In this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can defend the gun bunch halfback strong uh, in man-to-man -man coverage, I think a little bit of an advantage over defending it in uh, zone coverage because of the fact that it is a quads formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. So when my opponent wants to audible to the gun bunch strong out of the gun bunch, I love to go to man-to-man -man defense, but actually a little bit of a twist on it and primarily needing to utilize certain abilities to make this work really, really well. Now, we're in the 46 playbook in this video, so if you want to get access to my full 4-6 uh, defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that. Uh, in the description, you can get that by joining my Patreon. The cool part about my Patreon membership is that it doesn't only get you access to one of my ebooks, but it gets you access to all 18 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. It also gets you access to any updates on those guides or any new ebooks that we might release uh, in the future. So if you want to become a member today, it's only $10 a month to sign up. There's a link in the description below if you want to do that. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this. So this concept here from Bunch Strong is really, I think, one of the better man-beating concepts in Madden. And I want to explain uh, why I love to check into man uh, whenever they do this for a specific purpose. And we're actually going to um, show you two different coverages today that I think you might like um, because they kind of are... You guys know I'm a big fan of match, and I've run a lot of match. It's probably the number one call... Um, if you take a look here at everything on this 3 through 5 wide, I have called cover 4 show 2 significantly more than anything else. Okay, So it's my favorite defense by far. And we're going to show you in this video, um, we're actually going to, I don't know, you can stick with cover 4 show 2 and just make the adjustments, or you can auto to Mike with 0. Um, both are fine. Okay. So anyways, I've got a couple main coverages. I got cover one and I've got Mike Blitz zero. We're gonna go over and we're gonna go over cover four show two again as well. Okay. So why cover four show two um, can be problematic whenever they audible over into this formation. And really it's honestly just for a corner route, which we're gonna cover um, in just a minute. But let's say they run a flood like this. You'll see that the match doesn't guard the corner okay that's really the primary reason as to why this is a problem so in essence you're basically playing cover four um you're basically playing cover four drop now i will say the one thing i do like about this and how this works is a lot of times people will run this post to mike evans if you have this inside quarter here um in the middle of the field you see that he matches him and carries him all the way up top okay so that's one thing that i do like out of this let me show you one other thing with that post um, a couple, you know, if you play some really good bunch players, one of the things that they're gonna they're gonna do is they're gonna kind of wait on that. They're gonna try to wait on that um, and get it open. So let me show you like a little slant, a little flat, and then we're gonna wait on this post. So if you wait on it, carries, 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 and then he passes off to this quarter. So he pretty much carries it the whole way and and makes it very difficult. Now. The other thing that you're going to notice with this, and that's one of the main reasons why I like this defense, but the other thing that you're going to notice is um, an adjustment that the offense is going to do whenever they start to see that is they're going to go to this. Now, I talked about this in a, few, in a previous video, but when they go to this motion right here, this is going to mean that you're basically back to match coverage. You're not facing quads anymore. You're facing match coverage. So if you look to the right, you're going to see that your corner route's going to get guarded. If you look to the left, you see that your post route's going to get guarded. And all you're really responsible for is the crossing route. Okay? So that's all really, really, really good. Now, another concept that they're going to run from Bunch Trail, if you think about it, there, there's probably two main, two or three main plays um, that you're going to see. Uh, if they want to run a true quad set, this bench pivot is probably their best bet, to be honest. So they might go with something like um, a streak to circle, a slant to Godwin, a out route to the back, something like this, okay? And what you'll see is, again, the, the coverage is going to play like cover four drop, and that right there is going to be open. So when we think about crafting a defense for, um, for the situation, 
Um, I like to stay in cover horse show, show two as much as I can, but there is a definite argument to adjusting out of this or um, you know changing what we're going to do. So how do we how do we play defense against this this formation? Well, what I like to do first, if I can get away with just sticking in cover four show two, what I'll do is I'll purple both linebackers, and then we're just going to press the slot. So we have the corner out from the slot and man coverage. And then typically what I like to do, so it's basic bunch defense, right? But typically what I'll do off of this um, is I'll actually honestly just man up everybody on that side of the field. So um, what it would look like here is I think shaded up man is pretty good. But what you want to do is you want to shade up your man coverage before you man up the slot. Because we do want to press him, but we want to shade everybody else, okay? So... Anyway, the basic idea here would be we're going to man up the linebacker on the tight end. We're going to man up the outside corner on the outside receiver. We're going to shade our coverage up, and then we're going to re-man up the slot and try to press him, and then we've got a purple there. Now we've got a purple over there. We've got this quarter here that's going to help us significantly um, if they do want to try to run a post. You can man this backside guy up if you want, or you could leave that quarter for a crosser. Um, I don't like to man him up because I don't think it really helps my defense, to be honest. Um, the Most of the reason they go to this formation is to try to beat man with that solo receiver. Um, and then we're going to blitz our user. And I like to bluff blitz the defensive end on the running back side. So now you see we've crafted, kind of crafted this little coverage right here. And now what you'll notice is it's not super easy to get anything open here. You'll see the shaded up man does really good there. The press really good on the crosser. And then the other thing about the crosser is that we have a really nice ability to be able to use that because there's nothing else on the field that we really are required to guard. Now, let's say you want to simplify this a little bit more and we'll talk about this route combination one more time here. So let's say we'll go something like this. Um, if you want to simplify this a little bit, all you're going to do is audible into Mike Blitz zero. Okay. Um, and what I like to do with this is we're going to uh, basically press. We're going to shade up. And then we're going to re um, or we're going to individually press the slot just like this. I also like to shade. You can shade this post um outside so if you like shade outside over top as a general rule and then you repress the slot the only reason why you might want to do that is because it looks a little bit more like zone that's the biggest reason why you would want to do something like that now let's talk about this um let's talk about this running back real quick here so again if we're def we're talking about defending the running back i really don't want to have to devote a man coverage assignment to him i'd rather try to defend him with my zones um and allow this guy to be kind of a roam defender. So what I like to do um, is I still like to re-man up the linebacker on the tight end. I just think it's a better alignment for the defense. And then we're going to play um, essentially a purple from the safety, basically almost the same exact coverage. Um, the, only, the only difference really is we're going to have that man coverage down the backside. And now you have an inside quarter here. Now this inside quarter, you can make an inside third. I find a lot of success with the inside quarter. If you don't want to use an inside quarter, you could man that guy up on the running back if you wanted to. Um, but this coverage right here is pretty decent uh, for what we're going to get out of this formation. So again, you'll see here that works really well. You see the inside quarter still runs with him and the man coverage hangs with him pretty, 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 uh, pretty well. Now, one other setup that I want to share with you from a man coverage perspective as far as how to defend something like this bunch strong. Um, same thing, it's out of uh, Mike Blood Zero. Um, actually, you know what, let's do this one out of cover one, Robert, because you do get the three rec on the field from that safety. Um, so you see here, we could have a three rec on the field from the safety, so you go something like this, man the linebacker up there, and then now you have the purple, you have two purples and a three rec. This is a really good coverage D, really good coverage D. Um, you need to make sure to back that guy up. And if you back him up, what you'll notice is typically he'll play this post because he's got some abilities to help him. But you see he plays that post really well. Okay? So that's that's something that you might want to consider doing. And then the last thing I didn't get to yet is a kind of a, an interesting coverage that I've been doing lately. So in Bunch... Almost every route that this left side receiver runs is inside breaking pattern. 
So we're going to actually go ahead and play a cloud flat on the left side. And that's going to kind of count as like our quote unquote purple defender. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the safety on the left side and man him up onto the uh, wide receiver. So you see it looks just like this. And then now this allows us on the back side of the coverage. Um, on the back side of the coverage, we can again, we can now take that blitzing linebacker here. And we can do all kinds of stuff, we want, whatever we want, honestly. Um, I like to man him up on the tight end. This is more of a true man coverage. Um, and then I'm going to take this safety, put him in a curl flat defense. And then I'm going to take the three rack there on the right. And then on the back side linebacker, I'm going to man him up on the running back for any wheel routes that that guy might run. So you see, this is kind of what the coverage looks like. So now they go to, um, you know, let's say they go to you know, something like a PA bunch shot. Uh, but they go with a crosser, you know, maybe they run a, maybe they run an in route, something like this. Okay. So now your user, you can, you basically force them to check down. Now notice that the post is a little bit better, but we're still able to cover on it. Okay. So that's going to help you a lot with your coverages when they go to this. Another really good coverage, um, I could talk coverage all day, but another really good one, like just to keep it, because again, when they motion, I would always check back to quarters because it's going to play right. Um, but another way that you could do this is a Tampa 2. But the major difference with this, because we know that this guy is oftentimes going to be running the skinny post, but there's no flat over here. So you could also put a soft squat there now, and now your soft squat logic is going to work significantly better. Now on the back side of this, you can do all kinds of different things. Um, let me show you some examples. So you could do a quarter here. Go with a little bit of a half over here to kind of protect their vert hooks. And then maybe, you know, I love to man the slot up. I think that's one of the, the best adjustments for a bunch, to be honest with you. So you get a coverage that looks somewhat like this here. And then this guy, um, you know, can kind of help on the tight end if he's a problem on a wheel um, or even the running back for that matter. You know, just man the guy up on whoever or just vert hook him. So something like this, just something simple like this. The big thing I want to show is even if we run a, let's say we run a tight end drag or a running back in round, actually. Let's, let's show a running back in round. What you'll see here is a soft squat typically will carry. See how he doesn't go back to the flat? And then now you see that you've got bracketed coverage on that player. So it's kind of like manning him up if he goes vertical. But if he doesn't go vertical, then the soft squat will play him, you know, play the underneath. So the major, the major um, distinction really is, you know, what zone do you want to use? I find that the soft squat is a very good zone uh, for those situations. Let me show you just kind of a general basic adjustment. So if you soft squat this guy from depth and they're running that post, let's just show you real quick. See how he's underneath and he's in a really, really good position. And again, his route running ability won't matter. The soft squat won't get burned by a route tech because it's technically a zone coverage. So anyways, that is a little coverage 101. A little bit of help for Bunch Strong. I know that a lot of people are going to be running this because this is the Bunch player's primary way to deal with one step ahead and any kind of main coverage that you might have. This right here, to me, is really a great defense uh, for defending that. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, you want to learn all of my eBooks, you want to get all the all the rest of the stuff, join the Patreon. It's only $10 a month. You can, And the cool part about it is, like I said, you get access to everything. All my Madden eBooks all year. Um, to help you become a better Madden player. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.